today we're working with strips of paper and we're making a page element, a tag or a card, and an embellishment using strips of paper. Do you have strips of paper in your stash? <laughs> Maybe one or two? Well, come and join me and see how I made these using up my stash. It's September 2020 Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge. And here's our crafty video for today. Using strips. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and uh, welcome to the messy desk. We are going to be making items today using strips of paper. This is for our September 2020 Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge. And we are on the second letter S, which is strips of paper. So to start off, we need a page idea, an embellishment idea, and a tag or card idea using those strips of paper. So first of all, I have taken one of the papers from the K and Company paper pad that I've, I'm using and that I'm trying to bust, I'm trying to use up. And I've gone ahead and I measured it with my paper from the journal that I made the cover out of. And I'm, I've gone ahead, measured, and flipped up and have a pocket. This is double-sided paper. And in true <laughs> 2020 fashion, I lost the video of me doing this. So I'm going to go through and tell you what I did. I took the red printed strips and I put three of them like this, okay? And then I came in with these other strips and I added them in this angle, okay? Then I went around and I attached at the end of each of the paper strips I attached them with glue and then I came back and everywhere that two of the papers meet I've put glue okay so that's where we are and then I folded my page okay so I was just folding my page when the phone rang <laughs> and um, that's when I discovered that I wasn't filming so, um, so this is where we are. So I'm thinking of using this for the center of a signature. So the next thing I wanted to do, this is my page idea. If you're here during the premiere, I'm waving hi and say hello to Lucy. Hi, Lucy. I'm so glad you've joined us today. If you're brand new to the premiere, just let you know that this is a pre-recorded video, but we are all over in the chat and we'd love to have you join us. You just hit that live chat button right down there. It'll open it up and you can come on over and say hello. We do this every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. It's a great way for us to be able to keep in touch, for me to answer questions and just for us to all love on each other. So um, we also have our Facebook group, Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie, and we'd love to have you join us there. So let's get back to our program. I wanted to go ahead and add some buttons. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just put them down right here with um, fabric tack, but then I am going to attach them with thread. So I want to put one where each of the places that my pages meet, my two, my strips meet. And so that is what I have there. I've gone ahead, I'm using the fabric tack and I believe we've just about used up all this glue. I'm gonna put it up um, here so that um, I can use it when I'm not on camera. So I've picked out a bunch of buttons. I want to use the smaller ones down here. So in the places where they're close to the crease. 
Okay, so there and there I'm going to use those buttons. And then I'm going to use a variety of buttons that I have here. So those, and they're going to attach all the way through. So I'm going to sew them so they go all the way through the paper. So you will see the little um, pieces on the back. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave enough string that I can tie a bow in each of the ones you're going to see. So I'm going to want to make sure that when I am sewing that my... Um, this is down. It's going to be okay if I accidentally sew through here because it's at the very bottom and the side of the pocket. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I am going to sew around the edges here and um, so that will that will give me um, a better look there. So since I'm going to sew I better move this button up a little. Okay, so then what will happen is this is going to give me a place that I can put in some, because this will be sewn, and I'll be able to use it like you would use a, like you would do a bulletin board and put some items in that. So that is my page idea, and um, I will go ahead and sew it, and you'll see it in a little bit. And so there's my page idea. Yay, page idea. So next we're going to move on to our embellishment idea. And for the embellishment, I am going to do some basket weaving type idea. And so I'm going to use a few different strips. Yes, tickets are a strip. And so... Let's go ahead and add a green. Okay, so I've got a variety of strips here. And then um, I'm going to come back in and add this. Now you guys can uh, check out in the Spring Blossom series, which has 38 videos in the playlist. Um, I will put that at the end of this video the spring blossom playlist I did a basket weave pocket to hold a um, to hold to hold to hold a um, it was a note card that had flowers on it okay so over under over okay so I'm I'm weaving okay see weaving I am using items that are um, that are even that are ripped. Okay, so even items that are ripped, even items that are a funny shape, I can use. Um, let's go. over under and they are not all the same size okay so they're not the same size some of them are ripped some of them are straight some of them have this pretty edge on them Some of them I went ahead and cut and made smaller. Okay, so there, this one has the pretty edge on it. Yeah, we have a piece of the wrapping paper here, too. OK, 
okay by adding in that you're able to you know don't forget about your pieces that are ripped or have funny edges because of you know they were a dike they were from using your Cricut or okay so there you go I think it's really fun to use your strips and then um, so this is for the embellishment so I want to put something under it see if I have to hold it So I'm just, I am going to just figure that this is a basket weave. Okay, so I need to glue this. I'm going to go ahead and start by gluing that, that one that wants to move. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all these edge pieces. Okay, so if I pull this up and do the ones that it's on top of, like that, and then I come over and I glue that one down. Okay, so that gives me that edge is all glued. Then it will come over here and I can just glue this one down. And I can lift this one, glue it, and lift this one and glue it. them in together. Okay. And let's see. I am going to cut this one. I might want to rip it. So I'm going to cut it here. Okay. That's going to give me some more strips. Okay, so like I did before, I'm going to lift this up, put glue on these pieces that are down under, push that back in, and then we'll come back and glue these down. I'm not so worried about the ones in the middle. That one's already glued down. Okay, and turn. Okay, so with this, I can, that one's already glued down. I'm just going to pick up this one. Put my glue down inside there. And then lift this, glue it down. Lift this, glue it down. Turn. So we have just this one piece that somehow missed getting glued down. Okay. So I have this fun grid pattern here using the ticket as a strip as well as 
I mean true scraps in here. I'm going to go ahead and rip this giving myself a like a square ish piece. I like ripping because um, even if they're not it's not straight uh, it still looks Oh, I like, see, I like that. I might leave that. I'm going to tear these two pieces off. I think I'm going to leave that ticket for right now while I figure out, <laughs> till I figure out what this is going to be. Oh, look at, there we've got a place that it's glued down, but not enough. Or maybe it didn't get glued down at all. Just rip these pieces. Okay, so now we have this right here, and it can become a pocket. I'm thinking you, it, it looks awkward with that sticking out like that. So there we go. And I can go ahead and back it onto some paper so that I can make it into a pocket. Or I can just glue the pieces that I need to and put them down and put it inside and it can become a pocket. So um, that is my embellishment and from strips and I'm going to leave it like this and decorate it once it gets into the page that it's going. Um, so I mean we can go ahead and we'll be able to add something on top of it as well but I think I like it just just the way it is and it can go into a journal just like this and I could come in and sew it around those places and make it into a, a pocket to hold a tag or something. So I'm going to call that my embellishment. It is a basket weave embellishment. Ooh, and I like that side too, but I like this best. Okay. So that is my basket weave embellishment using strips of paper. So next, um, we are still working with this paper here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this, cut this down. So next we need a tag. And again, we are using um, the pieces from the K and Company digital kit and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and use this instead of wasting this amazing paper here and I am going to let's check our template so if I cut this down a little bit, I can make a large tag out of this. Okay, I'm just going to cut. If I cut an inch and a half off, I can go ahead and that will make me a tag or something later. If I, okay, I think we're good on our size. And I'm going to just go ahead and I am going to attach strips to this like we did in the, the golden book. We made a page just out of strips. So if we have a variety of strips, 
Uh, I think these might be too orange. But we'll see. Okay, now I'm going to want these strips to be... Uh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and cut ourselves a strip of this. we've been using that and coming over here and looking to see if there's any other papers that I have used or will be using that we should have in here I think I think we're good there okay um let's see have that Um, those are the pieces. So we do have a green. We have a green. We have that. We have that. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with this. We're going to go use the glue stick this time. And we will use our, our book. Grab a page. And real quick, we'll go ahead and give us a, a strip from our book page. Okay, so. Okay, so that gives us a strip from our book page. And then we can use the book page for gluing as well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put glue and glue down our okay, so put glue on it and glue it down. Put glue on it. And glue it down. And... Oh, we have this piece of um, cork. We'll put that on an edge. Um, let's see. We have the blue. Okay, so just Going ahead and putting down all the different colors. Um, I think we want to cut this one down too. And if you have 
you know the ones that are ripped and stuff like that you can use those for this also so just so you know it is okay to copy um, and do exactly what I'm doing and for your journal okay if you want to do that that is just fine um, if you want to come up with your own ideas for your page idea and your ephemera and your tag that is fine too that and We'll go ahead and see if we can use this. Oh, it's a little big. So yes, you can piece together. You can use the same, same um, print, or you can use something different when you get to that point that you need to add something. Okay, so this one it's going to be too small for that. However, you need to put them on there, it's okay. <laughs> okay, and then we'll turn it over like we've done before and cut from this side. And come down to this side and cut this as well. And there we have a base. Okay, I am going to go ahead and just cut this. Okay, and we have a nice bottom edge there. And I am going to cut this. come back and like we've been doing we'll go ahead and trim off this edge turn it over bring it to the other side and hold it on there and I can use that to have an even tag so there we have our using the strips and now we're going to want to decorate it so I am going to go around the outside of this with the sewing machine since we've been doing that um, I think I want to go ahead and use a couple of the tickets on here and then we've been using these items from the Um, there we go. I love you from the hoarded paper. So the paper that I have been hoarding for years 
and then I'm going to go ahead and add that on there. So I'm just collaging. I've made, I've used the strips to make a base is basically what I did here. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and add my tickets. Add those. Then I'm going to add the crossword puzzle key. Okay, so I have several of those like dollar uh, crossword puzzle books, and I love to use those. The keys, the words, all of it. I use it all the time okay so at least three items when i'm collaging and all three items are touching So there's that. And we'll be able to write on the tag if you want to. And I keep looking at this stamp that we have here. It's out of fabric. It's a fabric stamp. And I'm thinking about doing that with some of the Dollar Tree lace. Okay. So I've got the Dollar Tree lace. I'm going to turn it around and come up so that I have the same look on both sides here. Okay. Okay. There's that. And I'll use two staples. Can't see the second staple. Am I out of staples? <laughs> nope, not out. I'm just not telling it who's boss. There we go. Staple, staple. There we go, and so that is my tag using the strips. And again, I will go ahead and go around this and stitch around it. So we have our tag, we have our embellishment, and we have our paper. So again, there will be some stitching happening here. Um, and I will be right back. So here we have the embellishment all stitched up and we have the tag and I stitched around it and we have the page and I have stitched around it. The pocket is stitched closed and so there is my page idea. So the last thing I need to do with this is I am going to go ahead and sew these buttons on. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put a put my holes through. Okay. And that way whichever side I'm on, it's much easier to put holes through with push pin. Okay, use this book. Okay, so there, there. there. Okay. 
so we have our holes already dug especially since we have glue okay it's just going to make it easier remember i wanted to start with this side i am going to go ahead and give myself a knot okay so there's a knot with some string and like i've got the holes right here and go ahead and come through my button and we'll go ahead and fast forward through this. Okay, so here I am on the last one down here at the bottom and I've gone ahead and I've sewn through the button. It was much easier by um, setting the holes and being able to just go through them. I have come up and come through the stitch um, here and I'm going to go ahead and tie this together. Okay, I'm gonna tie this together and I'm going to double knot it here. Kind of looks like a quilt in the back um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to make a little bow so I have my little bow here so just like a little shoestring bow pull it in so that it's smaller just like that that one too small okay pull the strings there we go okay then I'm gonna cut the strings and then last but not least I'm going to go ahead and add a little glue around the knot hopefully to keep the bow as a bow and that is my page element. So now these paces are actually um, sewn in. So you can go ahead and add your embellishments. You can put a tag or something in here, little cards. It's like a bulletin board. I have a bulletin board like this and that was my inspiration for this was to um, make it like my bulletin board. Okay, so then you can just add your pieces, and that's too big. Okay, and they'll fit right in there. And I just thought this would be kind of fun and something different. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm working on redoing my craft room again or still. And um, the bulletin board was there and I was like, oh, we could, we could do that on a paper. And so there is that. So our little bulletin board style page, our strip paper tag just needs to have its strings cut. Okay, so we did a, the base of this was made with the paper strips. And then here we did the basket weave embellishment, which I'm actually thinking the, the whole reason for making this is it's possibly gonna go on the front cover. So we will We'll see about that, what I can, what I can get out of the items that I have um, and see what we can, see what we can come up with the, for the cover. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're joining us for the September Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge. Um, if you've joined us, are you enjoying this? And... Um, I hope you have shared 
what your item that you or items that you hoard are. Um, that's kind of fun. We have a post in the group for you to put that. Um, and the details video for this challenge is in the description box down below. And right now I'm going to go ahead and add the playlist for the spring blossom junk journal playlist. It is over 30 videos and in there we did a basket weave pocket. I'm also going to put a the video of um, doing the branding strips for the golden book journal over here. Find something to celebrate every day. Come back tomorrow. Have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.